In today's video, we are going to do the first update on the AI podcast case study. We're going to look at some early analytics. We're going to look at some chat GPT prompt iterations. We're going to look at some podcast clip generation and the future plans. So let's just get started. Let's kick it off by looking at the episodes we have put up so far. So you can see we have six episodes now. The latest one I uploaded today and that is about what is the butterfly effect. Turned out pretty good, I think, because I've been doing some iterations on the content and I feel like this is a bit better, not so repetitive. Um, so yes, that is our episodes. Let's look at some analytics. So you can see we have almost 200 plays now, Spotify followers 27, audience size 114. Most of you probably from the YouTube channel, but that's fine. Uh, if we look at individual episodes, the ones on AI is most popular. Uh, we're going to take that into consideration later. But for now, it's just filling up the library, right? Uh, we also have the YouTube channel. So if we have a look at the podcast here, you can see we had 440 uh, views. 40 hours watch time. Kind of happy with that. So you can see uh, average view duration is 5 minutes. I think that's pretty good. Pretty happy with that. And as you can see here, we have gained about 32 subs the last 28 days, uh, about 1,100 views. Most of those come from the short clips we've been putting out from the podcast. We're going to do a quick segment on that later. So totally now 116 subs and we got some traction this morning from the video we put out. So that's good to see. Uh, but now I think we can go to ChatGPT and look at a few iterations I've been doing to try to improve the content. As you can see here, I'm still on the code interpreter. I think this is kind of a new model from OpenAI, so I found it much more interesting to use just for text generation too, not just for coding. So you can see I made this prompt here. You're an excellent author, nonfiction writer, expert in science, tech and philosophy. Here are the first four episodes of the ThinkBit podcast. So I listed up those in the same style, brainstorm seven more episode ID about AI and super intelligent fused with other topics. So here I found the episode ID singularity when AI outpaces human intelligence. So this is how I've been creating my ideas for the episode. Uh, and of course we can change up the last part here to get other ideas, right? Some other things I've been doing is I've been just typing out like what are the most famous philosophy books? Uh, you can get some ideas for kind of writers or styles of uh, authors you kind of want to imitate here. So you can see we have Nietzsche, we have Martin Heidegger, uh, yeah, uh, Immanuel Kant, so a lot of famous art uh, authors here. And the last part is, of course, the writing of the episodes. So here you can see I've changed it up a bit. Uh, I tried to make it a bit more simple. Uh, and I also want to emphasize on in first person view. I think when the podcast reader uses like, I think, I believe, I feel, it sounds much more personal. And I kind of like that style more. And I cut down some of the... Um, hard instructions I had here just to make it a bit more not too over the top, right? I, I feel it was a bit over the top. Use a lot of weird words and stuff. Now I feel it's a bit better, but uh, yeah, this is a work in progress, right? So what we do here is we have this prompt here. You can read this if you want to. We insert like the outline here. So I'm going to show you how I write the outline for each episode. So here you can see the episode I created this morning. So this is the butterfly effect for the Think Big podcast. And here I want to write an outline for ID 1. So here you can see we get the introduction, origins, and we get a nice outline here. So what we do then is we just copy all of this outline, right? Uh, we can skip the last part here and I just paste it into a uh, yeah, notepad here. And then we go back to uh, our writing. If we go on top now, we can just paste in the first part here. So let's that's going to be introduction, right? And we're just going to paste that in. It's about here. So write introduction, execute instructions. Uh, and here you can see we get our introduction. And as I did in the previous episode, so you can see I have uploaded what we've written so far. Then I just paste the introduction into this, yeah, this text file here. So we always get the context, right? And I just rinse and repeat that all the way down till we have finished our outline. And that is how, um, yeah, I still keep creating these episodes. 
Just a few other things so you can see I actually bought the domain name thinkbigpod.com So my plan here is to kind of just make a website for the podcast uh, Since we got all these good articles here, they're quite big, right? Uh, oh, what happened here? So my plan is like to publish this as kind of blog post uh, and uh, embed the um, YouTube um, podcast episode into this so you can see this is about yeah 5,000 words we have some 6,000 words so I'm gonna try to index all of this and see if we can get anything from Google like organic traffic and some other ideas I have going forward is to keep creating these clips here uh, so we can have a listen to one of these just give me a sec time expanded making the fall feel longer this alteration in time perception yeah, I've seen this before. This is from Opus Clips. So basically what I did here, I took the the episode for this was the time episode. I put them in here. We get a whole lot of different clips here. It's like 23 clips we can use to create this short form content. So I created this one this morning. So we can have a quick listen to this. Let me just click play here. Why do moments of joy seem to pass in an instant while periods of boredom or anxiety stretch endlessly? What causes time to contract or expand within our minds? Neuroscientist David Eagleman conducted experiments that revealed how our perception of time can shift based on our emotional state and attention. Yeah, so you can see these shorts I put up as podcast clips on the YouTube channel. And they're beginning quite a good amount of views, somehow like 500 views. So I think that's a good idea to get an audience to the channel. So I think that is it for the update. Uh, we just gotta keep posting. I think the plan is gonna be post a couple of episodes each week and keep it consistent. I feel like here is the key has to be like consistency here. We wanna big up like a big library of interesting topics that when some people maybe find one of those, they kind of wanna listen to some others. They can just suggestions like this. So I think that's gonna be the idea. And yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see where this takes us. So I think we're just gonna say that's it for today. And hopefully you will come back for the next episode. Have a great day and I'll see you again soon.